excitement has brought my finger. <laughs> so, uh, we've got Ian with us. Ian is one of the patrons. Uh, we just had a game of Doomseeker. We did, yeah. yeah it, was it was really good, actually. Second game, much better than the first, because I won the second game. Well, that as well. Yeah. It was close. It, it was, yeah. It really, really was. Really, really cool game. Uh, it is part of the giveaway, so if you haven't already, go and check out the giveaway video. Uh, and see the Johnson 8 is already there in the chat. So go and check out the uh, giveaway video. Mm. Lots and lots. Still haven't watched that. Do you even know what I'm giving away? Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's plastic. So, it's plastic crack, it's fine. Well, no, it's plastic. Oh, I don't want it. <laughs> so, I am giving away a copy of Doomseeker uh, with two exclusive event only cards. Uh, I am giving away two £50 vouchers for Demonscapes. Some awesome, awesome resin bases Just on there. Just been checking out their bases now, they're really cool. And a birthday captain, Primaris birthday captain. Got one. <laughs> uh, we've got, uh, what else have we given away? Uh, Kill Team Battle Map from GameMap.eu. That's kind of Double fun. sided. That's kind of funky though. Really cool, really cool. Yeah. And of course, the big shebang £100 for the, from the Games Workshop website. But I'm going to win that one. He says mm. it will be a random draw. <laughs> Ian does get two entries though because he's. Com Have you commented on the video? I mean, watch the video. <laughs> So, so far, he's, got, he's got one entry. I shall watch the video and comment. <laughs> he's got one entry for being a Patreon. So, thank you very much, of course, thank you for being a Patreon and all the other guys as well. Uh, we did play another game with the Blue Angels last night. We did. Uh, against Ian's Dark Angels. Yep. Uh, which is the second iteration of my list, so it's going to be getting changed again. And the first of mine, I will put that in now. Yep. Yeah. So, obviously, when I've developed my list a little bit more, Ian's will be a bit more developed and we'll, we'll take on each other again. Mm -hmm. No League of Battles since last week, because of course at, at this point last week I was in Dover. It's just no commitment, is it? It's just <laughs> absolutely no commitment. Excuse me, no, I, no I had six days without any hobby. Shocking. Six days. How did you manage? How are you alive? I don't know. How are you alive? I don't know. But on the drive home, we did have to call in Warhammer World. It kind of makes up for it, doesn't it? <laughs> but it was to get Lucy a coffee and to have a break. And I only bought Conquest. Wow. Yep. Well done. Yeah. Well done. And two weathering powders. So he didn't just buy Conquest. And two, and, and two, two brushes. And a chip of forge well. <laughs> <laughs> so there's not loads uh, to show off this week. It is a little bit different because it's a Saturday night, not a Sunday night. And that's because I'm not going to be here tomorrow. Again, commitment issues. <laughs> commitment to Lucy issues. Ah, just because you're marrying her doesn't mean you, <laughs> you, have to, you have to give up your first passion. <laughs> I, th I think you've got that confused. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, probably so, yeah. um, we're going to have a look through at what everyone's been up to. It's not going to be massively long because there's only a handful of pictures, actually. Ah, there's so, yeah, what I've seen, there's some good ones in there. There is, there is. Well, they're all good. Of course. <laughs> uh, we're starting with Alex Brown and his murder fang. Very apt considering Space Wolves out at the moment. Yeah. I do like the purple claws. I was just about to mention that you're, up, you're obsessed with purple. It, it's Lucy's fault. She looked, look, look. Pink, pink, pink. How many pinks? How many purples? Look up there. More pinks. More purples. I have we've got P3. We've got Forge World. We've got Artiste from the range. He's we've... blaming Lucy. It's Lucy's fault. No, it's fine. Those, those claws do look excellent, though. He's also been working on... Is this Ulrich? Only thing that would make him better was a pink cape, I think. <laughs> it looks oh, like yeah. the Emperor's children. He looks fantastic as well, doesn't he? Screamer pink. Yeah. yeah. Screamer pink. Yeah, fantastic it's model. It's a shame. Uh, like... We discussed this yesterday with um, like Azrael and Dante and stuff. The models just, I wish to God they would update the characters. So many people, well, I can only speak for Azrael, so many people do good primaries conversions. Mm -hmm. It's just... What, you mean like this guy here? Have you got Azrael in there, have you? No, no, no. No, it's not Azrael, sorry. But it's Dante, it's, look. Yeah, oh no, absolutely. I mean, it just suits it much better, doesn't it? I mean, there's no, there's no comparison to the two models. <laughs> yeah. And, and, technically, if you want to show that model... This model. That model, in comparison to this one. Yeah. Yeah. The little baby brother. <laughs> no, it's it's a shame, but because they bring out so much new stuff for them to go back... I was going to grab my Sanguinary Priest, but he's not there, because I used him last night. Is that because I killed him last night? Yeah, but but then look at Kabula. Oh, dear. It brings back fond memories, though. It does. It does. You've got to have both. You've got to have both. We've got hi hi 6785 in the chat. Yo, what's up? Uh, we've got another Dreadnought Mer No, this is a Venerable yeah. Cross Weathered Axe Dreadnought. Again, that's I I'm, tremendous. I've got two of these right behind me. The Dezzers. Right. 
in, in on sprue and I've got a redemptive dreadnought here which I'm <laughs> trying to do. Yeah, that looks like he's been killing Necrons for a long time. Uh, those Sanguinary Guard are nice like Custodes for Blood Angels. Huh? But using Custodes for Blood Angels, I'm assuming that is. That's a really good idea. It is a very good idea, isn't it? Oh, look, we've got some Custodes. <laughs> <laughs> we do, look. We have some Custodes. You know what? That that could actually work very, very well. Oh, don't, shh. I'd have to magnetize wings on them so I could use them as sanguinary guard or custodes because realistically when you look at the weapons, oh look there's an Angelus Bolt and, 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 mm -hmm. and Carmine Sword. Yeah, yep, there oh, you go. Ian. There we go. No, that, no. Job done. <laughs> no, I love the green axe. Yeah, the, the axe is the I, I, I love colours that pop. Yeah. Uh, next up we've got Alex Hadfield. He's in the chat at the moment. So thank you very much for joining us, Alex. Lord of the Rings. Yeah. I know. Have you, have you picked it up? I haven't. I actually found a box of elves in my wardrobe from the original game the other day. Metal or plastic? Plastic. Ah. But I've given it a friend because I'm not playing it. Fair enough. So really, I love the bases. Very, the the, the colour of the sand. Yeah, yeah. I don't know where, what they are, but they're really cool. The Urukai. Are they? Mm. Isengard. Who's this fellow? A big guy. He's a big. He's a big troll. <laughs> he's just a really, really big. Troll. He can be whatever he wants to be. I think. Yeah. <laughs> I do love the silver. He's obviously washed it with like an Agrax shade and then uh, dry brushed. You know, it top. looks well kept but well used. Yeah. And I suppose that same shit. I like his nipple ring as well. <laughs> oh, Des, Des is here actually. Yeah, Everyone yeah. asks metal or plastic to that. I know. I don't. I don't get it. But fair enough. Uh, Dazza says how much has he missed not a lot you've missed like the intro and the first three pictures I was amazing um, <laughs> so you go back when it uploads <laughs> it and, and, and rewatch the intro most of it was just Ian talking yeah uh, next up we've got Anthony Deer game one of the Patreon so thank you very much Anthony for your support uh, green and purple green and purple green and purple yeah um, and it's Death Guard so it's and it's and it, it's heresy era death guard it is it's heresy with a bit of a twist i think it's not quite full heresy that is it it's just like um, is it palette hands is that what they are because i know they've got this like green tinge on their armor haven't they right i think it might be palette hands but i'm not sure was that, was that a successor chapter it's one of the current right sub chapters but it does look very cool though the, the, the very big important question is me and Ian have both subscribed to conquest He's obviously going to get more Death Guard for his Death Guard. I'm obviously going to get more Marines for my Marines. I'm thinking we probably should have gone halves in this. Yeah, but I also play Marines as well. So You do. And I, I think and I'm going to go for Red Scorpions with my second half of Conquest. But the main question is, do I do Death Guard? They're brilliant. <laughs> I really enjoy them. I enjoy the look on people's faces when you're doing five-up discussion resilience, to be fair. It almost makes it worthwhile on that. Yeah, did, did you watch the Battle Report with Barry? I've watched part of it. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of disgusting resilience and five ups he yeah. made was unreal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, next up, we've got Ben Rawls. He's been working on, on, on some Austrian Napoleonic oh, models. Nice. Ben, he, he paints everything. I know. Like every single thing under the sun, he paints. Des says, uh, Taint the Gene Seed filth. Yeah, I can't deny it. <laughs> Embrace the Gene Seed filth, is what I say. Uh, possibly strain of Nurgle infection in Marines. Right, I didn't realise that. I know nothing about Death Guard. I really don't. Callum has been mega busy the last two weeks. I love the shades of blues and purples on this. Again, purple. And green. Yeah, but it goes so well with that model, though. It does. It, it's really weird because you think, oh, yeah, it should be like a natural furry type colour, but it, it works. No, that works really well. And a Storm Fiend. That's a cool model. Look, look at the blue fur, though. It's so different, mm -hmm. but so cool. And I could make that into some Nurgle goodness as well. But anyway, that's, that's a different subject altogether. You could make that into Beast of Nurgle. Uh huh. And you got oh. three, three in a box. Do you really? Beast of Nurgle are twenty five. I think they're about forty. Oh, you just chop his head off and put something different on. Mm. But anyway, there. That, I, like, <laughs> I, I like the colours in that. Anyway, it looks. I like the the green coming through the, the little. The, yes. The runes. Little scar, the scar runes on it as if they're glowing. I like that. Yeah. That, I think that's the new um, Nighthorn paint. All right, okay. Which is really, really cool. Uh, John Tanit says it would be rude not to do Death Guard Harry. It's true. Mm, but another army. Ah, only a little army. Oh, Conrads. Speaking of little. <laughs> Conrads. I like the rats. Oh, I need to paint mine. That's so cool with the blue one, actually. And the purple. I've got loads of mine uh, behind here. 
actually buying it information the base is off on so like the so source there shackles what, I, I have no idea what these are so in Sigma if you cast an endless spell you uh -huh. basically place the model on the board right right so in fact let's go with this one see let, let, let's go with this every one every day is a school day so what you do is you cast this model uh -huh. and between your turns mm -hmm. uh, you always dice off to see who goes first you don't always alternate yeah yeah whoever goes second gets to move the spells first even if you didn't cast it, I'll cast it. Even spells. if you didn't cast it, because it is an endless spell, so oh, it, it, predatory. Sorry, so it just moves. Excellent. And this one, for mm -hmm. example, if you m fly over a model or end uh, your movement within an inch of it, mm -hmm. I think it's something D three model works. Oh, so. oh, that sigma just chucks model into the dead, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, that's a cool spell, though. Looking spell anyway. It's destruction. It's meant to be the gnashing jaws. Hey, it works. Uh, Lucy has a very very nice spell which does lots and lots and lots of damage. Oh, I saw that. I watched one of your battle reports where she landed that on you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice. And then she, next turn she goes, oh, look, I'm going to dispel it. And then put it back. And then recast it. it. Doesn't that get weaker as it goes on? Uh, it one. does right. if you leave it where it is. Yeah. Right. But you dispel it and then recast <coughs> it, so yeah. it's horrible. Yeah. Uh, the pendulum is mean. Yes, I've got a pendulum there. Again, just needs the base painting. <laughs> so th when you cast this one, it just goes straight across the board. Lovely. Uh, but it, it, anything it hits, it, it does lots oh, of damage to. Yeah. Uh, so, so much, so much to it. Yeah, I need to paint the rest of mine. Spell portals. Uh, so you put two of these ones down, mm -hmm. and you cast a spell if you're within three inches of the first one. Yeah. But you measure the distance from the second no, one. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. So you've only got a nine-inch spell. Oh look, I've just cast, cast that cast first, it. and then oh look, I'm nine inches from the other one. That's naughty. Really, look, honestly, the Malian sorcery models are fantastic. Uh, the detail people pull off on some of these, how many golden demon contenders have you already shown? None. <laughs> <laughs> Combine it with the portals and you can change the pendulum's direction. Yes, because it goes through. Clever, I like it. Craig has started painting his turnings. He, he went through a phase where he just bought loads of turnings. He's bought he? so many turnings. <laughs> he's going to be painting these till he dies. <laughs> yeah, uh, he stripped them all and he started re start painting them up. So this I is did tell him I'd give him an honest critique of these as well. I like the colours, it's almost High Fleet Kraken but with purple instead of blue. I think when it's all done it'll look tremendous. Yeah, definitely. Especially if, if he gets the good detail in the brain at the back. Yeah, because who doesn't love brains? Exactly. Uh, we've got Dazza up next and this is the Lord of the Rings Eagle I think. Absolutely love the feather work on that. It's yeah, so, yeah. Feathers are one of them things that are just so awkward but so cool when you get them right. It's, it's good that he's got them in with the feathers going across the top as well. I like oh it. look he's killed it. it one of the riders. Oh yeah, the wild rider. rider. Yeah, then. Yeah. <laughs> I've watched Lord of the Rings. I've watched Lord of the Rings. It's just yeah. been a long time. We bought the Hobbit trilogy the other week. Actually, we haven't watched it yet. Right. Uh, me and Lucy both oh, seen. Hey, Craig's in the chat. Way, hello, I've I got some more colours to do. That was well timed. <laughs> you missed what I said earlier, Craig. It's all right. That feather work just looks like a red-tailed hawk. It, yeah, yeah, it looks fantastic. And of course, we've got uh, Pippin and Merry on top of tree beard. Hey, you got it. Right. And he's don't, also done. I don't think that's in Lord of the Rings. It's not. That's a that's a shard of the Deceiver, which uh, Des wants me to take against Drew tomorrow. Right. Uh, which I need to actually message Des because Drew's turned around and went, "Oh yeah, let's just play two and a half," because <laughs> uh, he's got two and a half pinned and he's struggling to trim it down. I'm like, Necrons are expensive. I can do two and a half and just go bang. There's an obelisk. There's another five hundred. I fought a Gauss pile on the other day. They're horrible. He, my poor knight. <laughs> <laughs> my poor knight. <laughs> Oh, oh look, who's are these? I ah, know, but they're horrible, terrible. Absolutely terribly Such painted. A rubbish painted. I know, absolutely crap. I know. Uh, apparently this guy's starting Sigma, but he hasn't got a clue what he's doing either. No, it's just, it's just, just give up, I think. <laughs> just, just give up. <laughs> of course, these are his. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you, you're expanding into demons for your Death Guard, yes. which by default means you're also going to play Sigma now, because you literally need one book and you can use the rest of mine. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. So why not? Exactly. But I've got another 20 of those to paint as well for Sunday, next Sunday. So that'll be fun. Yeah. Hi, hi, says for my Necron army, I'm going to be converting convert Dreicher into a Transcendent Rutan. Ian has no idea who that is. Just give me two moments. I just know they're hard to shoot. And if you've been. Who, Dreicher? No, just Necrons. Although I got tricked last time, he told me, I, I asked him if he was. That's tremendous. Yeah, it's a ghost inside of a tree honeycomb thing. That's really cool. Yeah. I like that. Oh. What's these? Oh, I'm sick of seeing 
<laughs> so you decided to take a commission on of uh, 30 Rubric Marines? I didn't re- realise how detailed Rubric Marines were, and now I do. This guy here has no shoulder pad on him. Because he didn't send me the shoulder pads. Ah. So when I get his 30 Terminators to paint, he's going to send him back with the shoulder pads. Basically. <laughs> and I'm just sick of my life. But I think they turned out alright. Kurdos and Orlinda. Good Catan ideas also. I don't know who they are. I'm assuming... Or, or Linda's the new um, uh, ghost lady with the sheet on her head. No, right. You know you looked at it? No. Oh, God. <laughs> who is he? James Chalmers from Newcastle Warlords has decided to do a Slanesh chariot army for Age of Sigmar. Weird models, but really cool. Yeah, Lucy's actually got... Uh, she's got one of these ones, one of the big ones, mm-hmm. and one of the ones that isn't here. Basically, you can combine two of them to make the big one. Right. Or you can build two the them. little one either way. Right, okay. So, no, they're, yeah. they're really weird. I, I love the turquoise he flops mm-hmm. that he's done. Yeah. Really it, cool. It suits the, the whole look of the kind of pale feel of the whole army. Really. It just suits it really well. Yeah. Lucy's a pink and purple. Of course the pink and purple. <laughs> <laughs> if you said anything else, I'd have thought it'd be weird. And uh, this Keeper of Secrets in the middle, I'm guessing that is a creature caster model. You need to have a little creature caster. I've looked at creature caster. have got some good models on them. Yeah. 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 And of course he's done Archeon. That's tremendous. That is a tremendous model. It's yeah, a beautiful I'm model. Really his. Uh, you want this. Okay. I'll it, ha- can I have that one? Yes. That that one. Oh that one. Yeah, no. I want that. No, no, My no. My job done, no. I'll have that one. But if you notice what James has done, right? He's put blood in a puddle for the corn head, yep. he's put uh, pus in yep. the puddle for the Nurgle head, and I presume there's something Zinchi behind the tail. Because it's got all three heads. What would Zinchi be then? I don't know. In a puddle of no, I don't even want to say that. <laughs> I don't want to say that. <laughs> Well, at least there's no Slanesh head. Yeah, that's true. That would, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that could have been interesting. I, 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 I would love to paint an Archeon model. So, so good. That is really good. I like that. Hi, hi, says those Rubik's are the best he's ever seen. Heresy look rather than the psychedelic blue. It was Heresy. He wanted 30k and 40k, so the headbands are more mm. 40k, but the Heresy colours as well. He wanted, a, it, he, wanted to, he wants to be able to play them with both, so he wants like, a bit of yeah. crossover between the two. Yeah. Um, it, it's like, if, if I was to go back and redo me corn... Chaos Space Marine, I would absolutely do them as proper world eating mm-hmm. colours. Yeah. Uh, as opposed to the, the well at the minute I'm I'm using um Age of Sigma Blood Warriors because they just look they so much better. But thanks high high six seven eight five. They were horrible to paint. <laughs> I saw a conversion of Archeon into a massive hive tyrant. I bet that was so cool. Slash puddles will be really weird. Yes, they will. Yes. Enough said. <laughs> Next up, we've got James Smith from Whitby, who is entering the, um, I forget what the name of the competition is, but if you live near Whitby, Outpost 31 is their local gaming store, and they run a painting competition where you can paint up a, a rank and file soldier. Okay. Uh, and mm-hmm. basically, they'll display it in the store, and you can win one of every pot of paint that they've got in stock. I saw that advertised. Yes. Yep. So, this is James's guy, of course, James plays Ultramarines, fantastic as always. Yep. What, transfers or just yeah. ultra transfers? <laughs> Both. <laughs> Both. But yeah. I, they can be a pain on the shoulder pads because the, the, I, the I flat can, transfer on a round shoulder pad is a nightmare. Knights are just manageable because of how big they are. Yeah. yeah. And vehicles I can get away with because it's flat. On my models, I put one transfer on the sergeant and I don't put transfers on the rest of them. I freehand my blood drops. My hands shake too much. Yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> But no, I, I just put one uh, transfer on the shoulder pad of the the characters and the sergeants, and just can't be bothered. Yeah, it, it works fine on the table. Next up, we've got James Warwick Snow from Sunderland, and he picked up Conquest. I can tell. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> I, I have fifteen Primaris Marines behind me there. Are they all one of three models? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I also have five in there somewhere. Yeah. From Tooth and Claw, mm-hmm. uh, which are all getting paid. I'm going to paint four as Blood Angels, so that I've got thirty. Mm-hmm. And all the rest are going to Death Watch. I think I've got fifteen. I've got no. I've got two lots of the starter box set, mm-hmm. and two easy build ones as well. Mm-hmm. Cool. Because everybody's got the easy build ones now. I freehand and the lady mocked me until her transfers came off. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, next up we've got James Wright. James has been working on some bolt action. I do like bolt action models. Yeah, I think I'm going to... I'm not a historical gamer. It's not my cup of tea. Me neither, but I think the game itself has good mechanics. 
apparently yeah. so I will be starting this apparently soon one of my friends has got the starter box so I think I will be the German very soon Jez I'm so jealous someone asked earlier about Golden Demon standard uh, I don't think Jez has actually ever entered Golden that Demon it's phenomenal but I would suggest you go and look on the Warhammer community page it is horticulous yeah that, that, should that, be a, that needs to be entered into something that is that is phenomenal Probably painting goals right there, isn't it? Is yeah, it? Jez has had a lot of models in White Dwarf. His Alarial uh, is featured. Interesting enough as well, uh, this week's uh, Armies on Parade uh, is going to feature Jez's Wood Elves. Mm. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned for that later in the week. Only problem with that model, it's not in my Death Guard army. He also magnetised his so he can run it as Rodigus or give him the, the flail instead of the sword. To be honest, I've been disappointed with that model if it hadn't done that. Yeah. I've put all that effort into it. You want to be able to use it as much as possible. Oh, definitely, oh, yeah. definitely, it's phenomenal, definitely. Dev says amazing, great, McLean. Well, yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. man. <laughs> Jez is just an outstanding painter. I no longer want to paint mine because it's another rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we've got John Wharton. John previously painted up a Lauren Knight, uh, but he's getting into Titanicus, and I do really like the blue and the yellow combo. It, it's two colours that you don't you think it shouldn't, shouldn't be, go together, but no. they do. Yeah, probably because it doesn't go. It goes. It's one of those weird things. Yeah. Who doesn't want a wall or tank on a tabletop? Uh, hi, hi, says the detail on the intestines alone you can see is it was real. Yeah. Is he a commission guy also? I don't think so. I think he should be. <laughs> he, I don't think he's got time by this. That looks at like how much time he puts into painting those models. Still need an airbrush. Interesting point, Spec. Uh, Jez doesn't use an airbrush. You don't need to use an airbrush if you've got those kind of skills. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I do, but mainly for speed. I want to get one, but I don't want to learn to paint again. It, it took me a while. Yeah. It did take yeah. me a while, yeah. yeah. Next up, we've got Kev Weir from Rage Against the Dice. What's this? It, that's tremendous. That is, <laughs> that is a baby battle wagon right there. That is a baby battle wagon. Absolutely fantastic. And look at that. Yeah, they're fantastic. Stompers. They? They are fantastic. Stompers and orc water bites. They are Gretchen. Gretchen would can, even Im can even imagine how small they are. Actually, they've probably got a millimetre. That's a 25 millimetre bit. Yeah, and look at the detail he's put in them, though. I know. That kind of size. The fact he's even got different shades instead of just painting the green and going, that'll do. Because that would have done. Yeah. But uh, hats off. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. Yeah. Sp yeah. Speaking of orcs, um, Ian Spink, who. Uh, Justin's best friend, basically from Battle Bunker. Uh, he's recently moved back up to the northeast, and he, he has featured on the uh, channel before. Yeah, such uh, a good beard. With oh, <laughs> uh, such a cool guy. Um, he, he used to run Cunning Rook for for Savage Orcs, uh, which at one point was pretty much on top. Mm -hmm. uh, now it's not. Uh, but he, he's a big tournament player, very very big on Age of Sigma. Um, he's actually going to be picking up uh, Speed Freaks. Yes, he is. Uh, Ian kind of wants to. Um, I want to play it before I commit. So I'm going to be getting it. Ian's going to so be getting it. Other it. Ian's going to be getting it. And I will be playing uh, it. And we'll all play it. Um, so you can expect some Speed Freaks when that comes out. I'm going to have to do some Orc uh, terrain tutorials. Mm hmm. Yeah. I know. I need to buy some Orcs. Uh, next up, we've got Liam. Liam has picked up some Eldar. Epic. And not uh, epic. Gothic. 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 Yeah. Yeah. And he says he hasn't much done because he's moving, but he's yeah. moved, he moved like last year. <laughs> so why are you moving again, Lee? He's still moving. Maybe he's still moving. Uh, next up, we've got Paul Briggs. Uh, Paul's actually been posting these guys quite a lot. He, he's done quite a large uh, army. Uh, I can't remember whether it was Paul that, or somebody else that actually used um, the use of buttons <laughs> with, with, a, with a proper, like, Mm -hmm. insignia on for, for the shields that's a really good and it was idea. just such a cool idea um, but I absolutely love these heresy era wolves I prefer the heresy colours to the modern colours yes um, on our uh, at Warhammer World on our way home the other day we actually stopped and went through the museum because mm -hmm. um, it was a, a lot's changed since we were last in um, and the Prospero board it, again it's just such a cool table and, and diorama what's nice to see no snow beer Yes, because in, a lot of people don't realise Fenris actually sways seasons a lot. So it's cold for mm -hmm. six months and then it's red hot for six months. Don't get me wrong, I like the snow base. It's a really good effect. But it's nice to see ones that aren't snow base. Yeah. Next up, we've got Paul Shaw and um, been working on his night. Uh, he's done the base on it and he's added a bit of weather into the air. I see. A bit so of heat bloom. Yes. I love doing that. Never done it yet. I, I did my entire Blood Angel army in one night. I don't shoot my guns enough to get any kind of heat bloom. My entire Blood Angel army 
in one night. <laughs> I love that base in such an interesting way to pull it off without much cutting needed on the legs. Yep. Stephen Dunn, again another Patreon, uh, picked this guy up and he was uh, slightly painted when he got it. And it's finished him off. I love that model. It's so cool, isn't it? Yeah, I love that model. So cool. Uh, Stephen is just starting in Ninja Sigma. I think he's got just over a thousand points. Um, so Stephen wants to start playing a bit more Ninja Sigma. So we'll maybe get him and Lucy playing a few games. Uh, and of course, when you get your Nurgle demons up and running as well. Because uh, Lucy, she can play 40k. But she likes Sigma. She likes Sigma. Mm. Uh, and again, I, I, I enjoy Sigma, but my love is 40k. So. Uh, the model that I do want to swim, you know, the models in for Sigma are so good. Oh, my daughter's a king. Yeah. You've seen uh, uh, you, Marathi? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's also been painting some ball action, some finished tanks. Yeah. Love, love the contrast between the brown, green, and blue. Mm -hmm. Absolutely class stuff. And there we go. And there's another shot of the troglodon. Uh, next up, we've got uh, Stewie Bell. Stewie the, has been the man himself. Mortarian. The man himself. Uh, that Carnosaur is fantastic. The skill detail just pops yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And it was already based, he said, when he got it, so he's just added a few fine details and stuff to That's it. That's what and makes the difference, though, isn't it? The, the difference from being a base painter to actually yeah. it makes so much difference. But I do like that model. What, the Motari model? Yeah. Such a cool model, isn't it? Yes, it is. I can't wait for the Sanguinix model. I'd wear that model. <laughs> <laughs> he, he comes with a good base as well. Yeah, Proper he does. Build up base is yeah. really, really good. Of course, I, even though I'm not, I, I don't have any heresy era uh, Blood Angels. No, but it's not the point, you just want the model. I want Sanguinis, yeah. 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 Uh, he's also been working on, the, this is the guy from um, the foyer, um, the Tooth and Claw. Claw. It, I do like the power axe, the, the pose on that model is excellent. I mean, who doesn't want a wolf with a Mohican and a beard? You've spoiled him. I haven't. Look, he's another slam captain. Spoiled him. He's got a Blood Angel shoulder pad, he's got a hammer instead. But he doesn't have a Mohican in a beard. No, he doesn't. He, he, a has, a he, he, he has a sanguinary either. guard mask. He doesn't have a wolf tail either. No, he doesn't. No. no. And we've got Stig Kelly with a Primaris Reaver. I absolutely love it. It's very, very close to Howling Griffins, this. But the red would be where the black is. It's just so much work in getting that divide line down clean. It's just but then yellow. Oh, yeah, yellow. <laughs> just, yeah, enough said, yeah. Yeah. Really cool base with the orc skull and the uh, plastic wheel and stuff on there as well. Mm -hmm. Fantastic model, really, really nice. And of course, there's a full squad. I'm guessing this is kill a kill team, team yeah. because of the uh, scout with missile launcher. Mm -hmm. And the sni snipers. And the scanner to be the comm specialist. Yeah, yeah. And snipers that never hit. Yeah. <laughs> like Tony's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love squigs. I do. Yeah. Um, speaking of squigs, there's a moon clan grot. He's, oh, excellent. He's called Stink Mullet. Makes sense. And I bought him because he's really cool. And I saw, yes. I saw, well, I want him in the uh, General Destruction Army. Um, but I, I looked at getting a load of squigs, but even second hand, they're not cheap. No, but look at them. I know. The only squig I've got is off Blood Bowl, the squig ball. I, I want a, like, a mango squig and a colossal squig. And I want lots of goblins. He's going to have to save up those pennies. Stop going to walk on the world. Stop going to Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> that was worth it. Yeah, yeah fair point. Exactly. Uh, there, there, there is actually a fun fair. Nothing, Five nothing, doors away from us. Nothing to say about that. Apart from I need some of these in my life. What, the Helverins? Yeah. Absolutely. Didn't but you get some the other day? Nearly, but I no, didn't. There was, was a weird thing happening. It was Barry that picked them up two weeks yeah. ago when I played but him. I'm going to put butcher cannons on them instead of the... Because the, they'll look better. Yeah. Definitely. And the fact they're going to be Nurgle, so the butcher cannons work really well. If you haven't seen Ian's Knights already, by the way, go and check out the um, Armies on Parade video that, that he featured in last week. Because... Loads of people decided to copy your night with the Defiler legs. It works really well. It does. It really does. Fair play. So I like I like those. I like the I like the red and white battle cannon because <laughs> it's different. I like it. Yeah. I like it. It makes it stand out a bit. Really cool. Wizard of Wheatley's been working on some what they call Black Kings. Uh, so he's been working on this guy. I presume he's going to be playing fantasy scene. Yeah, on was just square base. base. Bizarre. Graham is massively, massively into fantasy at the minute. Well, it, when Sigmar dropped, he rebased all of his Sinesh to, to round, mm -hmm. and now he's put them all back to square. <laughs> yeah. But I think I've, I've, I like these models. I think I'm going to have to get some of these. And that's it. Oh, that's it. That's oh. it. Oh, bad times. So, not a lot. Um, obviously, it's a little bit out of schedule this week. 
Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah. And there's more gloves and there's a lot of them. I like I like the war gloves, but I've got some war gloves, so I need some range as well. Didn't didn't you pick a, a war glove up for like a ten on eBay? Yes, I did. And I would I'm looking out for some more. Rebellion game and how I missed me. Yes, you have James. So you'll have to go back and rewatch it. Uh, but that actually is the, the end of the show. So thank you very much, Ian, for coming around. Check out Doom Seeker when it goes up because it's really cool. I yeah, I, I I I have mixed opinions on them, but really good game. Yeah, really uh, good game. And of course, go and check out the competition video. Make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you comment on the video, like it, and if possible, share it. Uh, and that means that you get one entry. If you are Patreon, like this guy, you get two entries. Yeah. Indeed. And uh, hopefully we'll hit the 10k subscribers very, very soon. Hopefully. But stay, t- stay tuned to the channel. There's all sorts coming in the next few weeks. Always stuff coming. Always stuff coming. Always stuff going on behind the scenes. Yeah. Uh, so a, a massive thank you to the, to the Patreons especially because you guys help us out so much like behind the scenes that you guys don't even see, uh, which, is, which is fantastic really. So thank you very much to all of that. Well, to be fair, I just make fun of people. But it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's lighthearted, isn't it? It keeps people entertained. <laughs> true Uh, but that's it guys thank you very much for tuning in and uh, we'll see you again next time